In season two, chapter one, Boomboxes, our friends begin their long journey north and a vision appears before Graven's eyes. I just think I'm being shown something, it's fine. Well, but step back. Just everyone. Can I try to like get her to come back a little bit? Down. Emotion. I see. Two humanoid figures, one elven pointed goatee, referring to a parchment map. Something on the table between them. The orc slowly stands, walks over to the elf, and thrusts a hand forward. He grabs him by the head, like the top of the skull. And you can see the elf writhing in agony. You see a little bracelet Fuck. fall down below. Fuck and you me. see the other half of Kauzni's <gasps> symbol that he ripped from your symbol. The other broken circle and arrows. When Kauzni broke this in half and promised to find another that would do his bidding. I just saw him. As the ride continues, they cross paths with a wounded, broken crown soldier, one that was being held hostage by bandits in the overrun station further north. The other four are still there, in prison. As far as I know, yeah. Must they've been taken somewhere they escaped themselves. And they killed anyone else that was there at the time. Well, they killed the people who put up a fight. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking recap my entire job to you. Sir, what the I got a busted ankle, my leg fucking kills, and I need to get I'm... to Lieutenant Colonel Warbo so I can get some fucking reinforcements up there. There is a contract to investigate this uh, Broken Crown Station. And to be totally honest, when we spoke to Warber and Ken Reggie and the others there, we did not know that there were hostages. We are the best chance your friends have. The soldier shares valuable intel in exchange for healing, and as soon as our friends say goodbye to one traveler, two more crop up, and they're burying a box in the earth near the riverside. Keep your heads up. The elves that watch these roads are a mite prickly. Not that that's anything new. The right. Elatrians. That's right, yeah. We're just uh, leaving a little something behind for the Elatrians. Huh. You know, giving thanks. If you uh, see any of these boxes on your travels, probably best to leave him be. Okay. We look for disturbed earth and we try to trigger it safely, and if not, okay. we All tell right. the Elatrians about it. And then we up. brag about it to the Elatrians if we save them. It's not long before our friends find one of these boxes. I'm going to take a rope on the climbers kit. Yes, then I'm what? I'm going to tie it okay. to the thing that opens the box. Okay. And then I'm going to step some yeah. distance yeah. away from the box. Yeah. And then I'm going to pull it open with the rope. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and tie a, 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 the rope around the latch. Give me a dexterity check. Oh boy. Straight dex? Yeah. Ah! Wow. No. So they're very dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Erland. I right. gathered that. Are you guys all right? Are, there's like a burnt piece of hair <laughs> like on his face. And they soon discover they're not the only ones being disturbed by these explosive trunks. There, stop. Oh, if you what, focus what, what, up what? the road. There is a nearly 100 foot tree. What? A being, a what? tree ant, something is moving across the path back and forth. Focus. Uh, maybe, um, like, uh, with our body language, Very calmly. express submission. <laughs> in, 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 uh, in, like, uh, uh, move slow, heads down, mm. quiet. The horses are scared, they're not going to approach it. Can, the, you, can the, you talk the, through the horses, maybe? And we're gonna sort of need to go quickly here. Like, um, almost like a race, so we can just see how fast we can get through this little bit, and then we're going to go where it's quiet and safe. I'm just like a race. I'm just like, just a, like race. a race. Just like a race. Sephira, go! <laughs> As you guys are sprinting forward, Graven and Erland have to peel off just a little bit because Shit. of where they're going. Sephira and Orba move ahead, and Erland and Graven converge, and the noise of the hooves... The creature turns, and without even, like, looking, one giant branch... Whoa! You feel it on your back, and oh. Sephira and Orba turn around, and Graven and Erland fly no. through the air. And then Erland and Graven look down, and they're over the river. <laughs> Plunge through the water. And that's where we're going to end. Oh, <laughs> what time is it? Oh. Will the treant pursue Graven and Erland? Can Sephira and Orba do anything to intervene? Are these first few hours indicative of the chaos to come? Find out next time on Tabletop Notch.